So. What advice would you give Tom Brady going into broadcasting? Um, I think that, one, your opinion is always wrong. Um, and it should be. You know, like, we live in this world where, like, people get so caught up on opinion and analysis. Your opinion should be wrong. Like, when you have an opinion, as long as you justify your opinion, you want people to disagree with your opinion. That, that's part of this job. You should strive to have your analysis be accurate. And I think that's one of the things that I would tell Tom. You know, like, you're going to be wrong with but stuff. But what's the difference of your opinion and your analysis? Because your analysis should form your opinion. I think analysis is a little bit more scientific. You know, like, when, when I watch tape, I can make the analysis on tape that the Philadelphia Eagles, Philadelphia Eagles defense struggles at moments to handle motion and crossing routes. That's analysis, and I can prove to you that that, that analysis is accurate. Um, I could have the opinion that, um, you know, Joe Montana doesn't make it into my top five what quarterbacks. What the hell is wrong with you? Oh, let's go! That's, that's an opinion. I know, but you should have analysis to go along with something like that because it, if, if it's a standalone opinion, yeah. I'm dying to know what the analysis yeah. is that would be attached to that. I think there's two things. I mean, if we want to rehash the top five quarterback <laughs> conversation. <laughs> this um, is going to follow you the rest of your career. So uh, I think that... I mean, that's not an opinion. That's analysis. So. <laughs> him, he's not top 20 in yards or touchdowns. Okay. That has to matter somewhat. And then everyone goes to the Super Bowl record, respectfully, as they should. Okay. The defense gave up 15 points per game in those four Super Bowls. Okay. Paulie, bring out Joe Montana. <laughs> I mean, you know, you know like, that, that, that has to be a part of the, the conversation. Also, that is my opinion, thinking, well, Marino was probably better. I could put Aikman into that conversation. I could put Drew Brees into that conversation. We can't just sit there and say, well, he's top five because he, he was, went to four Super Bowls. You can't do that. Like, that's, okay, there's so much more attached to the game. You have to win a game. That's an opinion. You have to win a Super Bowl. Tom Brady. Then? Patrick. Okay. And then? Um, probably Elway. Okay. Peyton. Montana. Okay, so he made your top five in winning the most important game. No, he didn't. He made six. Right? Oh, and then Marino. Yeah. Um, Marino and Elway are in that conversation. I'm not, this isn't a dump on Joe Montana <laughs> thing for me. <laughs> but it appears to be. <laughs> But it's not. I, but that's why you can't if be you scared had him to on, have an opinion. If you had him on NFL Live, yeah. would you say... I'd ask him about Skechers. Would you ask him <laughs> about... Would, would you say, hey, I just want to let you know, I think you're maybe in the top 20 in quarterback. Yeah, and he would probably look at me, laugh, and be like, cool. Now, he might not matter. I mean, he might not care about it. I would imagine Joe Montana does not care that I don't have him in the top five. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> Right? I, I think I mean, he's he got might, bigger things going on. He might say you're not even the fifth best quarterback in UConn history. Oh, oh. I'd, ask I him, mean, he might. I'd ask him for his opinion on who are the top five then. <laughs> well, he, <laughs> nobody can name five good quarterbacks at UConn. <laughs> uh, then, 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 I, then I would win that argument. Then I would win that argument. You're a guy who manipulated your 40-yard dash time. Like, I don't know if I can trust you when it comes to, uh, you know. It's many, that's many years ago, Dan. I'm not that same person. Oh, you're not? Uh, I'm a changed man.